there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the Farm Blog. Today is another video in our Made in America series. We're here in Nacogdoches, Texas, which is about two and a half hours east. Where are we, east, west, north? north? <laughs> Northeast, northwest, somewhere. We're about two and a half hours from Houston, Texas, about three hours from Dallas, Texas. We're down here in southern yellow pine country at American Timber and Steel, and we're going to show you guys how pressure treated fence posts are made for your farm. It's going to be an awesome time. All right? Woo! Okay, so here's where the magic happens. Behind this big pile of logs right here is where the tractor trailers come in from the woods. In other words, these trees are cut in the woods. They're brought in on tractor trailers. They're loaded up in these piles. This guy grabs it with a log grapple, picks them up, loads them onto this rail, and they go through and they get sorted. There are computerized sorting rooms here. We're gonna toss the drone up in the air and kind of get you some better footage of all this. It's really wet, it's really nasty out here on the lumber yard. It's forestry products, it's organic products, so you have an organic mix down here. Just normal stuff. We're gonna have some fun with this. I'm gonna toss the drone up. This place is around 22 acres of logs, posts, and lumber yard. All right, lift off. Man, this drone kind of gives you an awesome perspective of things. Again, we're on a, about a 22 acre lumber yard here and you can see the post in various stages. So the lighter colored posts are out there drying and some of the darker colored posts are already treated. And there's just a massive pile of logs right here. You're gonna see this is absolutely impressive. These piles of logs that are straight in from the forest are about 20 feet high and there is a boom right there loading trailers of logs. And then there's a log grapple right here that's loading the logs up onto the log deck. So the first thing they got to do is debark, and this is the debarker. It pulls the majority of the rough bark off, and that all goes into a uh, tractor trailer bin right here. You can see at the bottom of your screen, and then the wood chips. Nothing goes to waste, so wood chips are in those other two trailers. This is a cutoff saw, so it sends the post out the appropriate length and cuts it off. And this last piece wasn't quite big enough to make a post, so it'll go in and get chipped up for biofuel. And these are the sorting bins. So there are bins where uh, the logs go off. They're kicked off into these sorting bins as per the size of the log. And then they'll go into the factory. And that's where we're going next. Guys, it's really loud in here. I'm going to be yelling at you. Please forgive me. <laughs> So the posts come in out of the yard after they've been sent through and cut to the appropriate length. They go down this conveyor. So you can see the posts are going into a machine right here that is basically a giant lathe. All right, what you're seeing is logs that are cut to length for fence posts and they're going into a machine right here that spins around. In other words, the blades go around the log. And those are the chips that come out, again, going for biofuel. And the logs come out just clean as a whistle can see a little bit of bark on that one you'll see it gets pushed off to the right right here and that'll be sent through on a day when they're turning a smaller post so posts don't leave out with bark on them like that they get sent back through and cut back down and this gentleman right here is the one that chooses what makes the grade and they go right down through here and the ends get lopped off of these posts so that the, every post is a uniform length See, that one had a little bark on it. So that's cutting the post off to uniform length. That's a big old saw blade right there. Pretty impressive. And these posts are just so pretty. This is southern yellow pine. So from this area, they'll roll along a chain system and be stacked. And then we'll go from the stack to the banding area. Look how pretty this post is. Just beautiful. And these are the ends that were lopped off and they'll be taken and chipped up and used for biofuel. Alright, so we have a bundle of fence posts here. You can see they're all stacked up with sticks in between so that they can air dry appropriately. 
and this is a banding system. You notice that the banding system isn't metal, it is a uh, plastic band, so you don't get the rust stains on your fence posts like you might see in a big box store. And you definitely won't see fence posts stacked up like this in a big box store. And they go right into the pressure tank, just like this, stacked up and dried. And this is a piece of dunnage, basically it's a piece of post that didn't quite make the grade, but every little piece gets used, so that's used for stacking. So we talked about dunnage. Dunnage is what they use to stack everything together. This is a big pile of dunnage. Basically, these are posts that didn't make the cut, but they're still useful. They use everything here. The wood chips are sent off for biofuel. Those chunks of wood, the ends of the posts, they're sent off for biofuel. So everything gets utilized and used here. I wanted to take you over. These posts have not been treated yet, but these are some posts that have been sharpened on the end. They've been made to order specifically for a specific client, and they've been sharpened on the end. It is not necessary to sharpen a post in order to drive it, and we're gonna prove that to you here on the farm when we build our fence with American Timber and Steel Fencing. Now, up here, you'll see that these have dowel ends on them. Look at this big stack. This is for a specific type of fence. It's not really an agricultural fence. It's more of a residential decorative type fence. These are the posts. These have not yet been treated, but you'll see that they have holes in them. Basically, those rails with the dowels will fit straight into here. If you've ever seen a log bed, then you'll know what I'm talking about. It's all kind of fit together. So that's what these are. These are in here drying right now till they get below 30%, and then they'll be sent through and treated. Pretty cool. To put a face to this, we got Eugene and Chastin. Eugene, you've been here for 17 years, is that right? Chastin's his son and been here for 15 years. Oh, so you talked him into coming here. Yes, sir. <laughs> Is this a good place to work? Yes, sir, it is. Awesome. A little cold in the winter and hot in the summer, I'll bet. Yeah, we used to. <laughs> Makes a man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, thanks a lot, guys. I appreciate it. You know, I got a load of these posts at my house right now, and I can't wait to build a fence. It's going to be awesome. All right, guys, this is the money shot right here. This is why I'm here, what I came to see. So these are the posts that have been air dried, okay? They're less than 30% moisture. They're gonna go, they're on a tram right now, like a train rail. They're all chained together, and they're gonna go deep into this hole right back here. And right in there is where all the magic happens. In other words, what happens is these posts will dry out. They're made of wood. Wood is cellulose. Wood without water is just a hollow shell. In other words, they'll go into here, and the pressure will be 150 PSI. It's gonna push that treatment into those air gaps where the wood has dried out. Now we're gonna get a shot after these posts go through and show you what they look like once they're treated. just saw us load this thing up. It's been about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Now the way they work this is there's a computerized system that tells them how much chemical has gone into the wood. So we're going to open it up. It's already been treated. We're going to roll it out here and show you the finished product. That's it. That's how posts go from the woods to the yard to being dried to below 30% to being pressure treated. I thought you guys would really enjoy seeing how pressure treated posts are made. Please pound that like button, jump in, subscribe to the channel if you can. I'd love to have you. Welcome to our American Manufacturing Series. Super awesome, super fun. It's great that I have the opportunity to take you guys and show you things that you have maybe never seen before. Thanks a lot. Pound that like button, subscribe to the Stony Ridge Farm Channel, and we'll see you next time. All right? Woo!
you with American Timber and Steel? Nothing. Nothing? <laughs> I think she does something. Let me start that over. <laughs> How pressure treated folks, yeah. So we're gonna teach you guys. <laughs> we might do this two or three times. It's gonna be fun by the time we get done here. <laughs> that way, if they have a, ah. Okay, let's talk terminology. So these are sticks. <sighs> the end of the video, bleh, bleh. <laughs> Struggle here. Hi. We're. <laughs> <laughs> Stiffen up, shake the hips, saw in the hips, there you go. <laughs> All right, now. Tuck in the gut. <laughs> <laughs> USA, baby. 